Lone Ranger Show. Uh, the Lone Ranger Show, starring Kimosabi. Me, Tonto, want you to join Kimosabi and his guests, the Cavendish Gang, Rowdy Yates, Wishbone, Miss Kitty, and Kip Padara. Now, here, Kimosabi. Hello, Tonto. Good evening. You look like a pretty nice audience. Then again, so would the Cavendish gang if you were out here dying. You dying, Kimasabi? Oh, I'm just kidding, Tano. You'd know better if you laid off the fire water. <laughs> Doc, how you doing? Doc Watson, ladies and gentlemen. Where'd you get the suit, Doc? Wells Fargo? <laughs> well, what's in the news? Sheriff Johnson up in Virginia County is still looking for the Clanton brothers. Why doesn't he try his wife's bedroom? <laughs> I guess maybe the lineup's too long. <laughs> Speaking of lineups, we got a great show for you tonight. Ah, plenty good segue, Kimasabi. Yeah, I got it right in there smooth, Tunnel. Mm. Well, it was pretty hot in Death Valley today. How hot was it? It was so hot the buzzards were laying omelets. <laughs> Let's go over to the panel. Ah. Uh, keep this here just in case. <laughs> well, Tano, how you been? Oh, plenty good, plenty good, Kimasabi. And what were you up to this weekend? Ah, uh, me with you all weekend. That's right. Uh, oh, Kimasabi. Yeah. Time for a visitor from the east. Terrific. Me have here. Hermetically sealed envelopes from Pony Express. Sealed in beef jerky from yesterday. <laughs> you must have it. Colt 45. Colt 45. What do you call a 45-year-old Colt? <laughs> Okay. All right, let's bring out our first guest. He's a popular young comedian who's just completed two weeks at the Grove in Cincinnati. Grove. Here he is. Would you welcome Kip Adada. You know, I was sitting backstage, you know, thinking about cows and what a drag it is being a cow, you know, having to get milked every day. And I was thinking, what if I was a cow and first thing in the morning I had to get milked, you know? And then I was thinking about grazing, you know, and what a drag it would be. Ah! To, to death, after, you know, grazing, your friends say, hey, man, you want to go see a movie? And you say, no, I'm going to graze. Ah! Yeah, that branding iron plenty hot, Kimasabi. <laughs> well, Tano, he's Circle M property now. I uh, may not want to be in his shoes. Well, Tano, in a way, he deserved it. No one can insult the intelligence of this or any audience and expect to get away with it. That material was substandard and definitely below network quality. Let that be a lesson to all young comedians. Make sure your material is damn funny and you'll be loved by good people everywhere. All right, do we have time? We're gonna bring out our next guest. He's an old friend of ours, chief cook and bottle washer, been whipping up grub up for hungry cowboys on cattle drives for 50 some odd years. He's just finished a book entitled Grub, 101 ways to make it look like food. Big welcome now for Wishbone. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Have a seat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get myself a ring before I sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Wishbone, hmm? I gotta ask you right off the top, how come all those cowboys are complaining about your food all the time? Yeah, it's because they would have no good food if it looked them right in the face. They spend all that time chewing that damn Sean tobacco. Instead of eating my food, plump makes me mad. Well, now, I understand that a little later you're gonna whip up some stew for us, and we're all gonna have a chance to try some. That's right. Uh, well... Me 
Maybe we'll do that later. First, I want to talk about them rustlers that have been stealing our strays. Rustlers? Yeah, rustlers. Rustlers. Lots of them. We must have lost oh, four head of cattle last night alone. Uh, me not take them. Uh, me have alibi. That's if you can call closing the Long Branch Saloon an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Wishbone, let's talk about these rustlers. Did you get a good look at any of them? Do you know any of their names? I not only got a good look at them, I know every one of their names. Uh, their names are... Tono! <laughs> ah! Kimosabe! That not Indian arrow. That have four feathers on shaft. You're right. It's a British arrow fired from a crossbow made in the 14th century. Look. <laughs> he wasn't dead yet. Him dead now. Be scared, Kimasame. He could go for a mixed drink. Tonto, we've got riding to do. We've got to find the gang that killed Wishbone. Ah, uh, they're probably hiding in bars somewhere. Let's split up. No, Tonto, we've got to stick together. Come on, I want a drink. 